Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to film an intro. Good thing I remembered. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. I have a tutorial for you today. I was feeling like I wanted to really, 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 really wanted to try out this. This is the Lime Crime Velveteen in Black Velvet. I figured I would just do a tutorial, wrap in the black, and do that whole radiant orchidy, orchidy purple trend going on right now. So I filmed this tutorial. I did like a purpley eye, tied in the black smokiness with the lip. I do give you three lip options because obviously black lips isn't for everybody. I do understand. Don't worry, that door's not going to open. <laughs> so if you guys want to learn how I got this look and all the products that I used, then just keep watching. Alright guys, let's get started. I already primed my eyes using Max Pantoli Paint Pot because you guys know I'm a creature of habit. I'm going to try to name the brushes in this tutorial, which I always forget to do because I'm lazy. Okay, I'm going to uh, use a MAC 239 and MAC uh, Blanc Type. Now I'm going to use a Sigma E40 brush and this MAC color called Kid. Now this is kind of like a, a cool tones, uh, fleshy brown. It's very, very light. I'm using this as my transition. Sweep down the crease. All truth be told, you don't really see it all that much when it comes time to be finished. But it, it actually helps blending the color. We're going to actually integrate some morph eyeshadows and some makeup peak shadows into this tutorial. I know you guys are so excited. Uh, first shadow I'm going to use is Wisteria by Makeup Geek. It's a beautiful, kind of like a lavendy orchid. I'm going to put that on one half of our eyelid. Now, if you guys want to really intensify this shadow, you can definitely use a white base. I don't really like doing that all that much. I don't know. It's just not something I ever do. And now taking this uh, other Makeup Geek shadow, this is called Purple Rain, super pretty. And this, oh, I use the, this is, I'm using an E57 Firm Shader Brush by Sigma. It's in that new uh, color, color packing on color kit, whatever that I got for my mats. And we're going to put this on the second half of our eyelid, just like this. I'm going to take, uh, this is actually a Coastal Sense 250 brush, and we're going to blend that out. I'm going to slowly bring that darker purple color in, kind of just into the crease here. I'm going to wipe off that same blending brush, and I'm going to lightly blend between these two colors. And I'm going to go in with the Wisteria again, and add a little bit more color to Wisteria. Okay, now I'm jumping ahead. I'm going to go to the lower lid. We're not even close to finish with the upper lid yet, but this is how I do things. You know, I'm all over the place. So I'm going to take a purple eyeliner. This is um, Purple Blaze by uh, NYX. This is one of their slide-on, glide-on pencils. I'm going to put a little bit of this at the lash line. Now I'm going to grab a Sigma Smudge E21. I know this is like the Sigma show on this tutorial today. I'm sorry. I got a bunch of new Sigma brushes. Well, this one isn't new, but... Okay, now I'm going to grab this Morph eyeshadow in 58. This color is gorgeous. And I'm going to grab another Coastal Sense blending brush. And I'm going to add this right above where we put the darker purple. I'm just going to blend that in. Add some brighter pink to the area. And I am going to take that blending brush and I'm going to bring that onto the lower lash line too. Already! And now I'm going to take that first Coastal Sense brush and I'm going to go in with uh, Purple Rain again. And we're just going to deepen up the outer V. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use a pencil brush. I'm going to grab a pencil brush. This is a MAC 219. This color has a hard time sticking, sticking around. <laughs> we're just going to add that to the outer V. We're going to intensify that. We're going to hit a little bit on the lower lash line. And now I'm going to take another, uh, the fluffy brush and we're going to blend that in a little bit. And bring it into the crease just like that. 
You have to work very lightly with some of these Makeup Geek shadows because they can really blend away super quick. I'm going to take uh, that blending brush and I'm going to stick it in that Morph eyeshadow. We're going to just put it, a nice little wash right over it. Just to really make it blendy. I like, I like doing that because it gives it like a glow, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to grab this MAC eyeshadow in Carbon. It's black and this, this Sigma E36. And I'm going to lightly just put a little bit of this right in the outer vein just to darken that up. Just a little. We don't want to go crazy with the black. Not when we're doing what we're doing with the lips. Okay, first I'm going to line my upper lash line with some black liquid liner. I did a, a simple wing, really just to tie the look together and to have the lash band to kind of something to hide it, you know? So I'm going to use my Eve Pearl Black Pearl Liquid Liner, do a nice little wing. Yeah, we'll see if I can stay on frame. Good luck with that. back on the wing. I made the classic mistake. I made my left eye thicker than my right eye. So I'm going to thicken up my right band. Hopefully I don't screw it up too much and then we'll be crazy. So let me thicken that up a little bit. Ooh, okay. So I thickened up that right side <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> It's actually okay because because of this look. So uh, we got the liner on, and now we're gonna do some tight lining. I'm gonna use my NARS Via Veneto Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner, and we're gonna do the bottom lid and the top lid. When I do the bottom lid, I want to make sure it's nice and smudgy. So I'm gonna take my smudgy brush and I'm going to blend that a little bit. Just want to make sure it was blended into the lashes. And now I'm going to go and do some tight lining on this upper waterline. Now I got the upper and lower waterline all lined with black. So we got to do some mascara. So we're going to hit the top lashes with a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Love this mascara. I haven't used it in like weeks though. I don't know what my problem is. Uh, before we put the mascara on the lower lid, we actually have to put on our glitter. Okay, I have this NYX glitter in, um, where's the color? Crystal pink. It's so pretty. And we're going to put a little bit of that right in the tear duct. Not too crazy, though. Just enough to kind of make that lower lid pop, you know? And now we could put on the mascara for the lower lashes. And that is, of course, Clinique Bottom Lash. You guys know it. I'm going to go put on my lashes and clean up my fallout, and I'll be right back. Okay, so for my face, I'm going to use my, um, I haven't used this in a while. This is my Murad Dewy Finish Skin Perfecting Primer. It looks like that. I'm going to use my YSL Touch of Clot in BR20. usually need about two, one and a half to two pumps on the back of my hand. And my MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to use the Sigma Kabuki F80. Wet it up. I'm not going to use a lot of foundation today. And I'm not really going anywhere, you know? Always very careful around my eyebrows because I don't want to erase them by accident. Uh, this is the NARS Creamy Concealer and this is the color Chantilly. So, this is the first time I'm using it. Everybody and their mother goes crazy over it, so I figured I'd give it a go. So we're gonna... We're gonna check it out. See how we like it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of that so it would highlight on the center of my forehead down my nose. So I'm going to add a little bit here, and then a little here, a little here. 
So next I'm going to go in with my new Serenity and Scott press powder. Serenity and Scott, I finally got a new one. Look, ah, it's whole again. Uh, this is in the color Fairest. I got one shade lighter for my under eyes. And I'm only going to powder really the center of my face. I'm going to leave the outer bits of my face unpowdered. I'm going to do some contouring. I'm going to use my NYX Blush and Taupe. I'm going to use this Coastal Sense BRCS24. For blush! Blush time, people! Okay, I'm going to use a blush, actually two blushes, but I'm going to use one that I haven't ever used. And this is my, this is the MAC Blush and Full of Joy. It's a pretty, like, light lavender color. I've never used this. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Stipple brush. See how that looks. It's very purple. <laughs> so, I thought it might be a little too lavender, so I do have a pink blush to add in with it. Since it is so lavender, I'm adding a little pink. So, this is Hello Dolly Blush by uh, Face of Australia. I'm just pinking it up a little, because that is very purple. Next, I'm going to go in with my uh, Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. It's that pinky one. We're going to highlight. So pretty. Love this highlight. So I'm going to show you three different lip options. I'm going to show you purple, pink, and black. Okay. I'm going to start off with my Fuchsia Lip Liner by Milani. And then I'm going to use my Lime Crime Lipstick in Centra Fuchsia. I absolutely love this color. I am such a fan of fuchsia lipstick. It's, oh, I love it. So, this is what it looks like with fuchsia. This is the first lip option. Me, 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 me. I wanted to tie in the eyes and the lips, so feeling matchy matchy. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so my next lip option is purple, and I'm gonna do a light purple. A light purple. Uh, this is called Fainted Love, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's a Kat Von D lipstick. It's purple. <laughs> Looks like this. You can also use Up the Amp by MAC. They're like the exact same lipstick. I don't know why I'm not using Up the Amp, but I'm not. So, painted whatever. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this is the purple lips. Um, It definitely goes with this whole lip look. I don't know. I don't use this purple lipstick enough. I think it's really pretty. It's a little hard. If you guys know what I mean, like it's not creamy. It's it's kind of hard to apply, but it's really, really pretty. I think great color payoff and I love it. So purple, purple look. Okay, so the third option is the one I know you guys are waiting for. Uh, this is Lime Crime Velveteen time. Okay, um, I got this at IMADS. This is the black velveteen. It's a little daunting. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to start off with black lip, uh, lip black liner. I'm going to use my uh, NYX Jet Black Slide On Glide On pencil first. And we're going to start with that. Is it crazy that I was like nerve wracked by that? Alright, so now it's time to go in with the black velveteen. This thing is so black, you guys. Oh my goodness. Alright. Definitely let it dry before you start touching it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Okay, guys. Wow. What do you think of the black? I think it's pretty crazy. Um, I think this matte black lip looks really sick. Like, I really like it a lot. Okay, guys. So, this is the finished look. I don't really see a lot of black lips here on YouTube. So, I figured why not give this thing a go and post the tutorial for you guys using the black lipstick. So I did give you those two other options in case this black is just not for you. You can also pair this eye look with a nude lip or like a baby pink. It's really versatile actually, but I think I like the gothic black. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!